My game dev journey began in January of 2020. After brief research, I chose the Unreal Engine as the game engine I would learn. The first non-template project I ever opened was the Advanced Locomotion System. It was a nesting nightmare. At first, I cursed Caleb's dark genius. But then I came to appreciate the tangle of beautifully complex logic. Thanks, Caleb. I learned a lot and decided to continue down the rabbit hole of character locomotion. I watched Laurent de Leon's presentation on Paragon more times than I cared to admit. Distance matching was and is incredible. At the time, distance matching was not natively available in the Unreal Engine, so I set out to make my own. I taught myself basic C++ and, following the presentation on Paragon, I made distance matching for animation sequence assets. There was some jank in my blending, but the logic for the actual distance matching worked perfectly. Then I had an idea. What about distance matching for animation blend spaces? I'd never seen it done, nor had I heard of anyone mention the idea. The rabbit hole continued. I did some prototyping with available animations from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, but they simply weren't enough. Now I'm certainly no animator, but I made an entire set of animations to meet the technical requirements necessary to fully test my distance match blend space idea, and it worked. I then consolidated my code into a plugin that supports distance and pose match animation sequences and animation blend spaces. And for good measure, I modified and extended the animations from Epic's Lyra starter game and released a sample project using those animations with my plugin. But wait, there's more. The locomotion rabbit hole still wasn't finished. I wanted a way to accelerate my animation prototyping workflow that didn't necessitate the use of software outside of the Unreal Engine. I read up on some basic math I knew I would need in the upcoming project, and I also took inspiration from an article written by Daniel Holden. With that, I was ready to go. After a few weeks of work, I had created a plugin that trims animations, blends animation ends, generates curves, modifies the root bone, constrains inverse kinematic bones to forward kinematic bones, etc., allowing me to take a long-form motion capture recording and break it into cut clips that all seamlessly blend with one another, and I never had to leave the Unreal Engine. Great, now I have three assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, but I'm no closer to completing a game. Until a few weeks ago, I had not even truly started making a game, but that's what this devlog series is about. I hope you will join me for this journey. In the next video, I will reveal the type of game I intend to make. If you're passionate about game development, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and join my Discord. I'll see you next time.